On March 1, 2010, White House officials joined Mayor of Oakland Ron Dellums, Congresswoman Barbara Lee, and community leaders to discuss the Oakland stimulus. As you well know, our definition of Oakland as a model city is a city that is coherent and cohesive, a city that's rooted in a vibrant economy, a city that's based on a healthy citizenry that's well-educated, well-trained, well-informed, capable of effective and efficient interaction with the economic, social, political, and cultural institutions of our community. It's a same statement, yet a very powerful one. It seems to me the two things that we're talking about, number one, is citizen involvement and citizen participation, citizen engagement. The residents of Oakland have changed the rules of engagement, they've changed the rules of participation, they've changed the rules of involvement. Fundamental to the democratic process, fundamental to the success of Oakland is people's continued engagement in the process. Number two, uh, I would say maintain a, 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 an extraordinary um, effort to maintain the integrity of a problem-solving solution based on a collaborative effort. Those two things your involvement and participation, and continue to engage in a non-competitive but cooperative, coordinated, and communicative process. Green for All CEO Phaedra Ellis Lampkins addressed the morning audience at the Oakland Stimulus Conference. What I can tell you is I can say Oakland is a model for everyone. When we talk to folks about what's going on, we sat with Sam Adams, who's the mayor of Portland, and we said, here's what's going on. We talked about Mayor Ron Dellums, because what we said is, if you want to be equity, environment, economy, you have to think regionally, and you have to think about the models like that the Ella Baker Center is doing, the, um, some of the eBay, some of the tremendous groups that are here that are stepping up and saying, let's be a model. Let's make this actually work. I want to just say that it is not just about creating the models and using those values and models, but it's about turning it into legislation, and that's what the Recovery Act does. It's also what a champion like Congresswoman Barbara Lee does. Uh, for the entire 9th Congressional District, I'm very proud, first of all, of my district. We've been able to bring in over $1 billion, I think it's about $1.9 billion uh, of federal funding into the 9th Congressional District. That's a testament to our organizations, our mayors, our city councils, our labor unions, our business community putting together initiatives that create jobs and will begin to help turn this economy around. And so the 9th Congressional District is out front once again on making sure that people benefit from the policies of the federal government. Oakland was a partner in a great collaboration in five grants. We were successful in all five grants. That was in excess of $40 million. So we're there. And, and um, um, north of $200 million, we still have north of $200 million on the table. My prediction is by the time the smoke clears and the dust settles, uh, Oakland will have received somewhere around a half a billion dollars. You know, there, there's still a lot of money on the table out there. But the thing that, that today makes, the point that today makes writ large, Oakland's on the map. Oakland is there. There are only two cities where the White House and these agencies have gone out to for lessons learned. What are the, what are the shining examples? Philadelphia and Oakland, the only two cities. And so Oakland residents need to take some pride and some joy in all of that. And finally, I think that the uh, two things that I'm very proud of. Model City is now part of Oakland's psyche. When we first went out there, people said, is this a slogan, is this utopia? No, it's now part of the psyche. The federal government recognizes that Oakland is a model city, and people in Oakland recognize that they have that capacity. The second thing is a recurring theme this morning. People understand that in an unprecedented way, they are involved in the problem-solving process. They are part, they are at the table. That's never gonna change, because once that door is open, you can't ever close that door again. People feel empowered in Oakland, and I'm very proud of that. Here's all these federal officials in Oakland, California, two cities in America. That's a powerful and profound statement. Hey, do you want to become a local TV celebrity? Do you want to learn video TV production? Well, check out this learning experience that Overcomers with Hope has to offer you for free. Overcomers with Hope Second Chance is located at 1485 H Street in Oakland. Overcomers with Hope Second Chance gives youths from age 16 to 24 years old the chance to live a first-class life through digital arts media training. Register now by giving Overcomers with Hope Second Chance a call at 510-893-5103. Overcomers with Hope Second Chance could be your chance.